hi everyone welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to create a form task with the select boxes options so basically we'll create a form like this where user will have one or more options to select and then we'll get these response back into our uipath studio so let's start this process so search for task and then create form task along with that we need to wait for form task and resume these two activities our title we can give as test form task with the select boxes and then over here we we have to pass the the data but well before that we are just going to design the form So over here we are going to select uh, select box options and drop it over here. And then the take option is option one. option two we can create as many as option you want say so option three so a couple of point to remember is like we need these all values while retrieving its response just remember these things so option one option two and option three and then go to the field key options and over here just select this value this property name select it and save save it and uh, close now over here in the form data we need to test that the direction will be outside and uh, this type will be let's go to the browse for type and search for dictionary and over here select this one generic collection and it will be string and boolean okay now control k and we can give the name as out form data enter okay now go to the variable and just verify this out form data the variable data type should be like a generic dictionary with the uh, string and boolean as key and value so this is fine now this task object we have to create an object over here so press ctrl k let's say task out and this task out we have to give as an input to the resume task Now let's verify this data. This option, this name should be in our property field. So we can re verify. So if I'll go to this field and just edit, 
So this name has been changed. I don't know why it is automatically getting changed. Just select this one. And now we have to modify this one. Let's save. So basically whatever name we are, we are giving over here that should be into that uh, uh, that field uh, field key and now we are going to assign the output data so select uh, assignment multiple assignment and over here we are going to create two variables Okay, is option one selected? This will be out form data. And you remember what what was the name of those field? It was option one. Then control K is option two selected enter and out form data and pass the key as uh, option two again for third options control k is option three selected enter Again, out form data and key will be option three. Now, if you notice, still we are getting some error, right? So this is just because this variable which we have created using Control K, we have to change its data type to boolean. Now once you change the data type you can see that error will, will is gone. So now let's save this and uh, we are going to run. Now you can see this task has been suspended and it is waiting for any external data. So go to the unassigned task. And you can see we have one, one task over here which is unassigned. So let me assign to self and I'm going to select uh, these two options, one and two. And if I resume this task, basically I'm not given any print statement. So I have to run it again, but I should not get any error. So over here you can see I didn't get any error. And if you wanted to see this value, we have to keep the log, log message. Option one selected. <laughs> Let's save this and again rerun it. Again, it is waiting for external input. Assign to self. And I'm going to select one and three. Complete it. 
Visão. So over here you can see we had selected one and three and two was not selected. So true, false, true. Basically, what you need to remember is this data type over here. This should be dictionary and a string and boolean. And this property name over here it is select box one that you can verify from here. Selected it and over here this property name should match. And then while accessing the data, just like the dictionary, so you have to pass the key for each each options and you can get its corresponding value like this. Alright. So thank you for watching.